Hi, welcome into this rapid finance review where I, Michael, will be uncovering all you need to know about this small business loan program. Are they the right fit for you? Should you use them? Are they legit? The pros and cons, alternatives, and so much more so you can finally continue to build, grow, expand, and even get out of a tight pinch you might find yourself in currently. But before I get started, if this is the first time you're watching me, I do want to let you know I come out with videos like this when this channel with the viral home-based pursuit brand, as well as getting fast business loans. So if you haven't watched any of my videos, I highly encourage you to subscribe and click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future video I come out with on small business loans, alternative lending solutions, and many more opportunities to help you get money in your hands as fast as possible. Now let's get right into it. You're looking at the Rapid Finance homepage, previously known as Rapid Advance. So if you're asking yourself, is there a correlation between these two? Okay, it's just rebranded now to Rapid Finance. And they have many different types of financing solutions, which we're gonna cover specifically one by one. But just to show you an overview of what you're seeing here, you have small business loan, merchant cash advance, and line of credits. You have a bridge loan, SBA, invoice factoring, asset base, and then commercial real estate. But before we dive deep into those, let's take a look at the homepage and scroll down to what you could be expecting, which is up to a million plus in small business funding. How great would that be? Okay, now I do wanna get this out of the way. They are for non-startups. So if you are a startup company, I just wanted to get that out of the way and maybe you're struggling to just even make a dollar or maybe you're making some income, but you're just still in that startup phase where you're looking for that extra push, more income, um, equipment financing, or for other solutions that you may need, maybe to get a business line of credit, which Rapid Finance does not focus on. It's a bit of a con, but not really. Um, if you are looking for startup solutions, look in the description down below this video, and I will give you startup resources. You can even pick up a free six step pre-approval lending checklist like the one I have here, like they will look this way. Again, down below in the description, this will give you everything you need to know step-by-step step, plus a lot of bonus content. So you understand how to get essentially pre-approved before you walk in and you start an application. Maybe you've done it in the past, but you've just been denied over and over. You're feeling frustrated and in pain mentally. And that's starting to creep up to you physically because you start to tense up and with those muscles hurting you, it uh, doesn't serve you any great purpose. So I highly encourage you to pick that up. Um, you know, you can do it for startups and non-startups. I'll have an option for you, or you might see this down below, but you select the one that's right for you and we'll get you the, the best fits, okay? So quick funding with hours of approval, 2 billion plus funded across various industries, flexible payments, automatic payments that are tailored to your needs. Now, going back to a financing solution that I'm a big fan of, it's called the Merchant Cash Advance. We're gonna cover this in a moment, but let me click through just to show you what that is. If you are coming here to see, can I get fast funding? I've heard about their MCAs. I'm unsure about it. I know what a Merchant Cash Advance is, but I'm not so sold on it because maybe there's higher interest rates, which do come with these, but they do offer some flexibility, which is a great thing too. So merchant cash advance, without going into that, it's where you know the lenders will take away a percentage of your future credit and even debit card sales. Okay, your receivables that you're getting through profits, they can take from that, which is pretty standard across all merchant cash advances. Um, and so their merchant cash advance amount starts from 5,000 and ranges up to 500,000. And I like their program because it's a little more, bit more lenient in terms of months and how much you can get up to, which is $500,000, which is great fast access capital, as much as same day, even the next day, um, but very fast into your account deposited. And that way you can use it again to build your business. Um, not in that startup phase, but if you're looking to expand also, and maybe if you're a restaurant, you can get more space for patio um, construction, for more fencing, for more tools, for more equipment. Um, you can go that route, but it really just serves any type of an industry. So flexible payments, as we went over, estimated completion day payments are based on the business's receivable. So there is no fixed payment term. Now, that, that's what I do appreciate about Rapid Finance's Merchant Cash Advance, as opposed to the other ones out there. And I'm going to be comparing it with another one that I think is like 
of superior one. It's it's great. It's up there. It's in battle with rapid finance. Um, so cost and fees. The receivables are purchased at a discounted price, and fees may be charged and deducted from the advanced amount. Okay. Here is more details and the benefits. Form of identity validation, business bank account number and routing number for deposit, very standard, okay? So those two things alone in my time as a business loan broker, helping people understand what is the right solution for you, okay? Because everybody is different. If you are a trucker, you're gonna need something different. Um, if you are in construction, you're probably looking for another thing. If you're in the restaurant business, maybe you're looking for payment processing, um, different solutions. So you have to understand that all these have a set of requirements, more or less are similar. So last three months of business bank statements, last three credit card processing statements. So very standard. So, uh, the application process, number one, you apply online. You can apply online from anywhere and on your device. Just click the get to quote button at the top of the page. Let us know about the company and goals. And remember to collect the necessary documentation. Now, if you're asking, where do I go? Down below in the description, you can go ahead and get started. I'll try to have links for the different types of funding, but I'll have one to like the homepage or wherever it needs to go to. That way you can go ahead and check up on it a little bit more and even comment down below this video. Let me know, have you ever had a merchant cash advance? Uh, what are your questions about them or any other type of small business loan? Where are you right now currently so I can best assist you? I've helped out many, many, many people um, get a small business loan, different financing, funding solutions. Now we don't have to struggle again, going through banks, reaching into your savings. Go ahead and ask friends and family for help because we know how that can go. So let us review. Step two, our team will review all the information that you had provided to them. If they need any additional information, of course, their team of business advisors will reach out to you appropriately and let you know. Three, get funded. If approved, our team with Rapid Finance will proceed to send out approved funds to your business bank account. Okay, so you'll be made aware of this. So just look out emails and things like that. So just a little bit of Merchant Cash Advance FAQ. Um, how does a Merchant Cash Advance work? Can I get Merchant Cash Advance with bad credits? Yes, you can. While most small businesses financing companies may use credit as a factor when looking at your small business financing application, it might not be a determining factor. And that's the thing with the merchant cash advance. It falls under the big three C's, one being cash flow or, or capital, two being collateral, and three being credit card based. So collateral or um, cash flow, that means they are just strictly looking at how much you're making month to month. And we're going to go over the requirements just in a second here. And that's what a merchant cash advance can fall under, even business loan terms, short and long term, as well as other funding solutions. You can even categorize that underneath the SBA and even PPP funding grants, et cetera. Uh, but with something like a merchant cash advance, they look at the cash flow. They can look at the credit score, but they're less strict on that. They want to know, okay, you can have a poor, you can have a bad credit score, but let's see how much you're making month to month. Collateral, if you want to give something up with an assets, that's a whole different story, as well as is with credits. If you want to do credit cards or if you want to do a business line of credit, which you can't get with rapid finance. Um, so that's this, who can apply for it. Now we're going to go into that and just here. Um, so the rapid finance merchant cash advance, maximum loan amount, 5,000 to 500,000. Loan term, three to 12 months. So it is more short-term solution, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind that this is meant for short-term and that's how normally most merchant cash advances operate on a short-term basis. And they're, they're not the business short or, or the long-term solution because there's those business terms as well. Um, the interest rate starting at 1.22, okay? Those factor rates there. Qualifications for rapid finance merchant cash advance. So we're looking here for a 5,000 in annual revenue, okay? Personal credit score, 550, and time in business at least three months. So that's very low when we're talking about, when we're talking about time in business from what I've seen across all boards. Um, and this is why there's such a great solution for a merchant cash advance, not only with the time being just three months, just think about it. You might be, excuse me, getting started and all you're being asked for is 5,000 in annual revenue and a personal credit score of 550. If you don't have a great uh, FICO score, if you need better business credit, I'll also leave more information on that down below in the description with um, a few different companies that I've already reviewed where you can get a hybrid of business line of credit. One of my favorite things to do 
Um, it's a great solution as a small business owner to get because you can get revolving credit to then use for working capital, like a merchant cash advance or other solutions, as well as it helps you build your own uh, business credit. So great option to look at again down below. So time in business, very great. Um, three months. Okay. And I'm going to compare it a little bit with another company here. Um, and let me actually pull it up now. So another one of my favorites when you're talking about merchant cash advances, and I have a separate video for this, it's David Allen Capital Link. So down below in the description, a video, and I have set separate ones for them, but you can get up to 2 million with them. So a lot more, and they are not strictly a merchant cash advance company. They don't take a hard credit pull, maybe like some of what Rapid Finance can do. Um, they don't deduct anything from your future credits and debit card receivables they do what's called revenue-based funding. And that is strictly where, again, the cash flow of the three Cs, right? Remember, cash flow, collateral, and credit. They look at the cash, what's coming in month to month. They work for non-startups, again. Um, and so you can get up to $2 million, and so then you can get that working capital, then use it for like equipment and other solutions. They offer payment processing, customer financing, healthcare, um, telecom, and many more solutions. So they have up to 2 million you can get where there is no interest on these, okay? And you're like, what do you mean? Well, the difference between Rapid Finance and somebody like David Allen Capital, because Rapid Finance, you have a merchant cash advance, David Allen, revenue-based funding, two different ones. But the revenue-based funding model that they have is there are no interest rates. You can just use the total payback. So let's say you get a $10,000 loan um, or we call it a $10,000 cash advance because it's, it's what it is, then you have a certain like 1.19 to 1.49 X amount that you would have to pay back, okay? And then, and then you have a term agreement that comes with it. These are daily um, deductions, which is a great solution, right? And you're like, well, no, I'd rather have monthly. Um, the problem with monthly, especially with merchant cash advances and a lot of these cash advance things, companies, they... The people, the small business owners, they can go in default much faster and more easily. It's not a good sign. Um, and with the daily deduction, and they're very minimal, it's micro, be like $100 or more or less, especially if you're doing great. And if you're using that money to then make greater profits, that daily income isn't going to be much. You got to think about that and process it because, you know, you can get monthly payments, but we're not going to give you a huge chunk at the end of the month that you're like, oh my, I don't know how to pay this. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Now you have more on your plate to deal with. You go into default and then lending with the certain company that you enjoyed. It's really not offered up and you got to look for different lending options. So that's something to consider and you get paid early paid discounts with them. So that's why I love them. Um, and where the, where does the um, merchant cash advance come into play? So they have a program called Biddy Advance where you can get up to 25K in same-day instant approval funding. It's called Bank Breezy here. And just, you know, 5,000 plus monthly bank revenue, so somewhat similar to Rapid Finance, where we come back here, talking about annual revenue, 5,000. You have to have a business checking account, similar. Six months in business, okay? So that's the difference here. You got three months. But think about it with the merchant cash advance, with the interest rate you're going to get on that. Keep that in mind where you don't get this. It's, um, again, total payback of the loan, of the cash advance. Um, you are just required a 450 plus credit score. Less than this. Okay, by 100 points. Great. All industries are included, similar there. So you can just see the differences between time in business, personal credit, and somewhat similar to the uh, revenue being made there. Breezy online process, accept approval amount, link online banking review, approval term sign agreement online, and you receive your funds. So no hard credit inquiries, excuse me, transparent terms, no collateral is required, industry leading early pay discounts. Get more when you need it, payment history will earn you more, receive funding again and on funds available. You get a personalized account manager so you don't have to feel like you're this lone wolf trying to you know, go through in your journey on this wilderness, you're unsure where you are in your environment. So you get that. Um, and if you need a 25, more than 25K, go ahead and get it with David Allen Capital's up to $2 million program where there are different requirements under that, just as low as a 500 plus credit score and 25,000 plus monthly. And again, low uh, credit scores there.
So that's part of what I wanted to show you with the merchant cash advance, kind of comparing it to a different company that I see uh, has a revenue-based funding model, which is a great solution for non-startups. So if you do meet those requirements with Bank Breezy, who, by the way, is partnered with Beatty Advance, who is the merchant cash advance company. So it seems a little, you know, might sound a little complicated at first because you're like Biddy Advance, they're an MCA, but Bank Breezy isn't. No, it's like a hybrid model. It's just they partnered with them. They're one of the best MCAs out in the industry and pretty fast funding approvals with um, Beatty Advance and um, Bank Breezy, you get same day instant approval funding and even as much as the next day deposited in your account. So that information down below in the description, make sure to go ahead and look at that video and that, those resources. So let's continue moving forward. So let's come back to the homepage and we're gonna round up here in a little bit. So um, grateful you're still here with me. So business financing solutions, commercial real estate loan. If you are in that industry, I know I help plenty of people. You guys, if you're watching this channel, appreciate it. Um, felt out already many of you, but you know, with uh, rapid finance, great solution too. Easy online application. Uh, loan starting at seventy-five thousand up to two million. Terms as low as five years up to twenty years, and then we have automatic monthly payment deductions there. Now let's go across the board. Funding as fast as twenty-four hours for the merchant cash advance. Advance up to five hundred thousand. Easy, fast application. Flexible payments based on your receivables. So small business loans, loans up to 1 million, funding as fast as 24 hours, loan terms much longer, three to 60 months, automatic daily or weekly payments. So funding for line of credit starts at 5,000 to 25, 250,000. And I know I kind of talked a little bit about credit and business line of credit. So terms up to 18 months, approved amounts, access anytime, weekly payments. So at a time it wasn't where they had that option, but they're getting more into it now. So bridge loan, loan amount starting at 5,000 up to 1 million, terms up to 60 months, automatic payments, fast and easy application process. So we have SBA loans ranging from 500 to 5.5 million, terms up to 30 years, automatic monthly payments, partially backed by the government for business purposes. Invoice factoring, advances starting at 20,000 up to, two, to 10 million, terms ranging up to 18 months, you get an easy online application, turn pending invoices into immediate funds. And then we have lastly, but not least, asset-based loan. Based on company assets, terms starting at 50,000 up to 10 million, terms ranging from six months to 36. Fixed daily, weekly, or monthly payments. So is one thing you're seeing in common as you've picked up already with all these different types of funding is the flexibility in the terms, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind when you're going through all this. So now let's go down. You have like a little calculator here. You can see how much. You can scroll through, like what you're seeing. How much could I qualify for? Okay. So now let's come back to the homepage here really quick because it shifted me. So there's a step-by-step -step application process. As you can see, Transparent quotes, network of partners, easy to use client portal. Here's what people are saying on Trustpilot. Jasmine uh, Lockhart is awesome. She made the entire process so easy, simple, and quick. Excellent experience. Excellent. Aaron was so helpful and a pleasure to deal with. Highly recommended. And there are many more client success stories you can look through by just simply clicking on that button. And it'll bring you to video testimonials. So you know people are having great fortune and are being helped with the rapid funding, okay. Excuse me, rapid finance. Sometimes I still wanna say rapid advance, rapid advance. And so here are more testimonials, A-Town Bar and Grill, rapid finance has always been there for me. I've used them several times for working capital to remodel my restaurants. They were able to fund my project in less than a week by month. Studio Ballet Arts, rapid finance helped me because not only do I have a dance studio, I started a boutique and so I went out there and I had to purchase merchandise by Allison. So you can see different people getting solutions. Jenny Salon, I just knew I couldn't, I could count on them to get my money on time. I have received rapid finance to two other business friends of mine. So recommend it to them. Herman's Liquors, if I have to do it all over again, the first thing I would do is call rapid. Exempted. So there are many different people from different industries and backgrounds 
Um, let's cover some of the small business loan solutions other than the merchant cash advance, and we'll get round up there. Um, loan financing, fixed payments term options, fast funds, uh, similar application process. And if we scroll down here, short-term standard loans. We kind of went over this earlier, but maximum loan amount, 5,000 to 1 million, four months to one year, interest rate, 1.6 to 1.30, factor rates, qualifications for rapid finance, short-term standard loans, the annual revenue, 120,000, personal credit score, 550, and time in years, in two years. The, so the short-term selected loan, you have maximum loan amount from 15,000 to 1 million, loan term, six to 15 months, interest rate, 1.12 to 1.31 factor rates. The qualifications, you have to have a $120,000 in annual revenue being made, personal credit score, 550, time in years, two years, time in business, excuse me. Um, Short-term preferred loans, and there's different solutions there for that. Um, you can kind of see it there. We're going to kind of go through this a little bit. And let me see if I've covered it. Okay. So that more or less is what I wanted to get through here. Um, if you're questioning what are the pros and the cons, same day, potentially funding, you know, it takes a second position to traditional lenders like banks. You can sign your loan agreement electronically via their service portal. And uh, their higher approval rates than other direct lenders. There is no collateral required. Hard credit pulls for cons here may affect your credit history. Rapid finance will not take a second position to lenders they consider as direct competitors. Same products required for four years in business. Some products, excuse me, daily or weekly repayments can potentially strain your business's cash flow. But again, that's a decision you have to make understanding what would I do with the funding? Can it double, triple, quadruple even your profit? So and that wouldn't be such a big deal to start off with. Um, so that will round, I think, everything up here. Let me see. Um, SBA loans, things like that. If you want to know more about SBA type loans, I'll leave information down below in the description. Uh, things like 7A, 504, EIDL, disaster loans, as well as many more, like restaurant revitalization fund. Um, and other types of financing options, looking for revolving line of credit. Um, there is this in there, flexible payments, term options, cost and fees, and so forth. So there's other also other alternatives, again, that I'm going to leave down below in the description for you so you can learn more about those and what the comparisons are. Uh, let's go down here. Invoice factoring, asset base, and then com commercial real estate. Let's just cover one here really quickly. Okay. So similar, you're gonna see a little bit of everything on those. Um, we covered more or less what to expect from them. Uh, and that is gonna be it, okay? So if you are interested in moving forward with rapid finance, which I highly encourage you do, they're a great solution, especially for merchant cash advances, any type of business long-term, short or long. Um, you can see there is a business line of credit. And even though I said it in the beginning, they don't really focus on it as much. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's a primary thing because there are, there are other funding options for that bridge loans, um, and things like that. And you just click here, you know, for any of them, apply now. And you're going to go ahead and go through this process. And if you want to start a new quote, click this button here. And then it's, it's a little five-step process here. Basic info, business, personal quote, and then the pre-qualification from there on out. It's very straightforward. And there's a need help call number. You can always call it. All right. So that rounds up everything in this video that I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave them down below. And if you haven't picked up this free six-step pre-approval lending checklist, again, it'll be down below in the description. It'll carry you through so much, okay? It's put together nicely for me, word by word, from experience and understanding what different types of lenders are looking for, for different types of industries. And that's the question I've been asked a lot, like, how do I know how to prepare for a specific loan, for a specific lender, right? You have to know these things before you walk in and you start an application and you waste all this time and energy putting into it. Maybe you spend money because of an application fee only to find out that even if it's same day or it's probably days later, a week, you're like, ah, you didn't get approved and you wasted all this time thinking you would. Um, and then now you're back to square one trying to go find other programs and it's just go back again, like I said. Um, like a hamster on a wheel, spinning over and over in circles, revolving over and over and over. 
Okay, so go ahead and pick that up. Look for my other videos with like Vidi Advance and Make Breezy as well as David Allen Capital. Um, I have other Merchant Cash Advance same day funding solutions as well, especially if they're startup. Um, those options will be there for business lines of credit again and uh, so much more. Okay, so thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.